We can also use open source software to just demonstrate the position of these canines in space using a small tool called a plane cut where you can now see the maxilla in different slices and you can measure and assess the position of each part of the tooth in space, in this case the occlusal plane. From the AP perspective, we can now have a better idea of where the tooth is in bone and how much bone there is around the tooth, as you can see right here. So this tooth is within the maxilla. So let's see if I can get the transverse position. Let's have a look from this perspective. And we can look at the position of the tooth in bone. How much bone we have, where is the sinuses, where are the apices, and obviously now the tooth is out of the plane. That gives us a good idea of what we can do for the repositioning of impacted canines.